Hey guys, welcome back into the channel for another episode of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. A relook at it. Just as a reminder, I always want to say this at the intro, it is not a first time playthrough. It is one that I am coming back to years after I originally played it, like many, many years. So in a lot of ways, it feels like a first playthrough, um, especially with how I play games now. But other than that, we are picking back up with facing down the trickster. So we have done one of the two doors that we need in order to cross the bridge into Helheim. So let's dive into it, guys. Let's go. And action. Right. Let's hop to it. Mm. A little bit sunnier over here. Let me just remember. I know it's only been a day, but I just get nervous with the combat. Evade block, right? Evade block. Parry. Hmm. I love, I talk about this in nearly every game that I play, but I just love the contrast of lavender against, well, like any kind of lavender colored flower against the green. It's beautiful. There's like wisteria, wisteria I think it is, that hangs from the trees. And it's so beautiful when it's purple. The darkness. There's something over there for me to scan. I want to make sure I don't miss any of these. These are different now. Okay, so we don't have the same... Okay, so before on the other side, there were the stones. But this is a little different. Ymir was a frost giant. A being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. Hmm. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. Right. Okay, so... Bor took a wife. And one of their sons was Odin. So Odin is of giant. So I don't know if I ever really was tracking that either. That Odin comes from the lineage of giants. And then the giants came before the Allfather and everything, obviously. But I think it's really easy to just think that they're like a separate like section or something. It's always like I have to remind myself that a lot of these gods come from giants or come from these other um, groups and everything. I've never really dived into it too deep other than what I've seen in WoW. Oh my gosh. The lighting. Like, I don't know if I talk about this nearly enough. I mean, I talk about when I love, like, seeing light shine through, but the lighting in this game might be some of the best I've ever seen. Second to Cyberpunk also has phenomenal lighting. And it's so, like, I just want to take a second to just remind us that this is a group of people making this, or maybe just one person, depending on the size of the team. But, like, all of these little factors that we don't consider in the moment when we're playing a game, sometimes it's easy to forget that in our seven hours playing something, it's 70 hours of another person's life or more, 700 hours that they do just to bring us seven hours. I've seen those before. So before we had to go through the fire, so I wonder what this section with the trickster is gonna be about. Look at the stones. All right, so we need to get through here. Illusion hides the path to Balravn. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. <gasps> Through the circles. Okay, right. And also, it, didn't they say that crows and raven? Is it crows? I think that's a crow. That's a thick crow. That thing's the size of a football. Yeah, I think it's the crows that are like a symbol of this trickster. Hmm. So we need to get over there. What's that? It's a door. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Yeah. Push it. They are all different voices. They absolutely represent different aspects. 
it's like some are more positive than others some are cautious some are like what, what what's gonna be on the other side like can you even push it to begin with what are you doing what is it uh... Hmm. I wonder if in their storyboard or like when they were developing this game, they were like, okay, we're always going to have a voice that represents reason. We're always going to have a voice that represents um, caution, you know, or opportunity, like an opportunist, all of these different sections. I, I feel like each voice probably aligns with a specific like element of what they're trying to achieve in that single voice. There. Reminds me of those creatures from... Uh, Witcher. Yeah. Wow. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Hmm. Sometimes I do believe that. It's like your curiosity makes you think you want to know what's going on. But when you do, it somehow changes your entire perspective of it. So I want to know what her and Druth are if they're not of Northmen. I also know there's a show called Northmen, but I've never seen it or known anything about it. Look at the leaves falling. Be afraid. The darkness. The darkness is coming. We're gonna have to fight. I think. No, it's just the lighting's changed. I can't. The occasional leaves falling. into the relentless darkness. Look at that. All that lurks within it. I can see you too. Mmm. That's very interesting. Once you look in it, everything that's in it can see you too. More death. Not burned bodies though. Just bludgeoned to death. What is this? Skin to life. This we're probably gonna have to fight here. Mmm. Push it. Something's pulsing. Shoot. Trickster. Well, I guess no, it's just a fighting, not necessarily a trickster. Oh, I got it. Okay, I gotta remember everything real quick. Fast strike, what's my focus? Focus is RT, fast strike, melee, heavy, and then block, and evade, okay. Push past it. Make sure that we evade if more spawn. Whoa, whoa. Make sure nobody's behind us, position ourselves. Whoa, yep, 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 yep. Hold on. Ooh. That scared me. Use focus whenever we can. <laughs> We finish the other one. Finish that guy. Oh gosh, there's another one behind me too. Two. Okay. We can do this. Let's focus this guy. Got oh no, I didn't block it. Mm. Oh no. Come on. No, don't let the other guy roll up. Don't let the other guy roll up. I oh, got it. There we go. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Focus, focus, focus on this guy. This guy's the big boy. Slash him, slash him, slash him. Heavy attack, heavy attack, heavy attack. Ah. 
Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Okay, that one's scared. That one's gonna go for us. Oh, get it, 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 get it. Focus, focus. Nice. This should be the last one. Come on. Finish it, finish it. She's such an awesome warrior, too. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, man. The North Wind will not stop. She will find what she's looking for. Wait, am I going back the wrong way? That's where I was trying to go. Look, everything changed the darkness. It's, um, it's, I, it's the same thing. It's like you never get used to it because once again, your entire perspective of the fights change when you know that your death could result in possibly the end of her altogether. The stakes are higher, but I like that because that is how you should embrace every single fight in a game. You should feel that pressure of like permanent death in a way. That way you're not like, I mean, think about how much it, um, I guess, I wouldn't say belittles, but definitely pulls you from the moment when you think that you can keep respawning, you know? It, the stakes aren't as high. Oh, I just don't want to fight this guy. The symbol. So we Valraven's need- power of illusion uh. comes from ravens. Yes. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. Has it changed? Look around you, it's different now. That's what we- that symbol. Oh my gosh. He's up there. That's Valraven, right? And that... Is that different, then? Okay, so we need to find the symbol. We need to get up top. But I can't go this way. Can I climb up this? Or, oh. Oh! Everything's different. Go this way. Is he still up there? Yeah, he is. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Valraven. <sighs> Everything feels so much larger than we are. But even still, I mean, I'm thinking about just the perspective that we have from Senua. It, like I told you guys, the over the shoulder kind of look. But also, I think as far as like being, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel like a traditional third person view. It's somewhere in between because she feels larger than when you're playing any other kind of game, I feel like. Can you feel it? Can you feel it now, Mr. Fur? I love the look of moss on stone or just some ivy leaves, everything. Will we have to fight our way through again, though? The leaves. It's like crossing into another world. The same, but feels different. An impostor world. You don't know it's real. Where the forest itself is watching. Look at the eyes on the trees. Did you see that? Yeah, look, more eyes over there. Look, look, look on the wood. Oh gosh. Oh. It's so... It's just insane to me that I've forgotten this much of it. Another gate. Another gate. You know what to do. You know what to do. Stay back. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen. Don't. Open. You can do it. Don't. One of them almost sounds like Bellatrix, Lister. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valrava. Again. But when it does say ravens, are they, oh 
Oh my gosh, is that like the head of the ravens? With their... Like, I'm trying to understand the symbol. Here. Oh, we have to get on the other side. Okay, so we need to get up there. The eyes are gone. <gasps> That's another portal. We need to change this portal. Okay, we need to use some- Okay, there's- there's that too. Can I climb up that? <gasps> well, I hear something. If you hear the soul of Van Raben, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You okay. can't always trust Let's go this way. So follow. Follow hearing him. Let's go this way. It's definitely to my right side. I should have followed that path. Focus. Yeah, because we can't go this way, right? Let me try. No. Yeah, we gotta go that way. Go through this way. I don't see him. But this is something different. It's getting stronger. It's right there. Silence me. Oh, sir. I may want to check that cough out. Like. I wonder how this fight's gonna be. But then the thing is pointing where he is! He's gone. It's all your fault. He's over there. Okay, I see him over there, but how do we get there? That's crazy. There's something so terrifying. Him pointing the direction to go. Okay, so now we have an open path this way. Is there anything over here? I think this game just- look at the eyes! It just excels in using your senses to the best of your ability. Like, it just heightens. All of your senses are so heightened. I guess I wouldn't say all. I'm not exactly smelling <laughs> Valhavrin, what is it? Not that I'd want to, but you're like- your sense of like sight and also hearing, like, it just is unreal. Don't fight me! You have to... You have to lose sight of him. It's giving Outer Wilds, um... It's Hold on. There it is. You lost him again. I can't- I can't not lose him, though. The trees are always in my way. I'll always lose sight of him. You lose LOS, you're not gonna get it. Is she lost? Would it be the first time? Last winter, before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her name. That must have been. Living off berries. That must have been when she left Dillian. It's not uncommon, you see. Who calls such a person a gelt? Gelt? Some like truth become gelt in search of penance. Others, like Senna, the purge a curse. A curse. Those who make it back are forever changed. So she went out there to cure herself of a curse. The curse of the darkness. And that must have been when she left Ilion, and when she returned, he had to have been slaughtered. There he is. But I'm gonna lose. Oh uh, no. We lost him again. Look at this. Let's unlock this real quick, so we now have a door over here. Beautiful. So 
so maybe with that, we'll be able to get where we need to go to next. There he is. We'll lose him again. We need to corner him. It's like when you focus, they go away. And then they're there. And then they get quiet. I don't know if I ever really even noticed that either. Also, look! The raven's feathers. Okay, so what did we not- Oh! Now we have a bridge to get up there. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can but wait! She can she get up? It must be magic. Don't, don't look through it again. Trick. Don't look through it again. Okay, so now we need to go back down. Mm. It has to be him. It's not him. It's a trick. He wants us to face him. Right? It's there. You never know when a fight sequence is gonna kind of pop out either, so it's... Here. I haven't seen nearly as many dead bodies on this side of things. Here. The eyes. Align the ravens. Hello. We're almost there. Chanting. Are the eyes still here? Yeah, they are. I don't know if they ever disappear. I'm, I'm like constantly, I think if, I probably have had my mouth open in like awe this entire playthrough. I just, I'm so impressed by it. I mean, again, like I know I said this in the first part, but night and day difference between ultra and low, like the lowest setting possible. We picture fear and we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. It's like a spell. If only it were that simple. Hmm. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. Shoot. A the reminder darkness. that just because you cannot see the threat, doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Oh. I can't. She can't go in there. Oh, over here. He's there. Where? Oh, he's on the other side. There's always another way. She's starting to whimper. She's scared. She's really giving into this focus. Deep breaths. Okay. So when you're in the darkness, I think... I probably need to just run. I think that's why she starts getting really terrified is whenever... Yeah, look, it's happening. It's happening. I'm stuck. She's panicking. She's panicking. We're gonna have a fight. We have to fight our way out of this. It's too much. Senua, it's too much. Shoot. Mm. Oh. Kick that. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Ah. Ah. Kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. There we go. Hit him. We gotta get this guy, big boy. Come on, break him, 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 break him. Nice. Wait, he's still alive, he's still alive. Behind, 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 behind. Oh. Get it. Kill him. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Roll around, roll around, roll around. Oh, I hate these guys. Come on. There we go. That guy. This guy. Get over to him. These guys are brutal. Punch him in the gut. Slash him around. Woo! Not today, sir. Come here. Come over here. This one. Got him. There we go. Focus. 
There we go. Come on, Senua. Here we go. Such a, like, satisfying parry. There might be another one, though. I do need to be careful. I can use it, but I want to wait, just in case. Here we go. Kick him. Get it. Scratch him up, scratch him up, scratch him up. Kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Oh! Behind me! Oh, snap. Okay. Kick, kick him, kick him. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. All right, get in there, get in there, get in there. Ah. Woo. Yeah, you got this, you got this, Senua. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Focus. Let's go. Let's go. Every single fight is so just invigorating. Woo. Woo. Oh. This way. That's a new weight. That's the path we came from. What's over here, then? The path we need to go. Oh. Those shield guys are so difficult. Here we go. What is that in the distance? The There's, Northmen oh. say that Odin and his brothers oh, the bridge, the bridge. Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, oh. and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky with his brains for clouds. Oh. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. Mm. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. So they killed... Is he ashamed of being part giant then? I mean, but also, I mean, I think this is kind of like... Oh, that was where the fire was. This isn't crazy to think about, though. I mean, it's kind of a, um... I think there is, like, this element about it that, especially for some people that are powerful or, like, gods, right? They'd be, I think, afraid that their children would turn on them. And rightfully so. I suppose. You have to think that, I mean... I mean, we're talking about the creation of worlds here, right? Of so many parts that we don't even understand. So, of course, their ways and everything would be very different, but it seems to us like killing your parent would be like the worst, one of the worst things. But I wonder if it was common back then to have your children turn on you. I say back then as you if this was like, you know what I mean though, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean. Your home, loved ones. In this culture. To head deep into the wilds. Perhaps never to return. There's so many ravens. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Mm. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Oh. When you were never really home in the first place. If you don't even know what home is for you, does anywhere ever feel like home? Okay, there's something new to be gained here. There's some- oh! More of the story. I love- I've come to really enjoy these tales. The way he the North tells say them. The Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, Mimir. who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Mimir. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. I don't think I ever realized. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. Wow. 
That's it? I want to know more. The rain... Rain is picking up. Mimir. Well, y'all know what we're familiar with Mimir. But I wonder if the stories are the same. I would imagine that they... Wait a minute. This one's not glowing. This one's not alive. Nothing... It's not lit. I think this has to be lit in order for it to work. Huh. There's so many... Let me try going up here. Oh. Hold on. It's getting a little shaky. I guess I need to know- oh, this is a dead end. Let me make sure. No, it's not. But it also feels like everything's getting more blurry. Everything's getting blurry. I'm like trying to think if it's the graphics trying to keep up, but I, I think that's just that part. I think that's just that area. It even looks like the stone is wet. Like, that's crazy. There's so many versions of him. Which one's real? I need to cross over there. But there's nothing over there. The red trees. Okay, he's pointing that direction, though. But are they all pointing in different directions? Oh, great. Which way's the right way? And I can't cross on that side. Dang it. Okay, but we're on the other side of this. Let's start by scanning this first. Just so we know what we're doing. Oh my gosh, the thunder rolls. Ba, ba, ba. So. <laughs> There's too many. Focus. There, he spawned. We can do this. Focus. Focus. We know that there's two. The song. Wait. He's over there. He's over there. Let's go to the left side. There's two that I see, but maybe we have to do both. We have to align two. This reminds her. Of the wilds? The forest. The forest. Which forest? Forest in the wilds. Hmm. She left him. She went to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wilds? To fight her own darkness. To fight her own darkness. She thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. It nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. Did, is that when she found Ruth in the wild? Yeah. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. Oh. To beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. The cure would help. But she didn't work. She thought her curse would affect him. Then it maybe would have. Would spread to him. She this. thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. Wait. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Nothing's happening. Truth helped her. There's nothing happening? It's one of those views. It's- Oh! That beam! That beam wasn't there before. The beam to get across. So she found Druth in the wilds. This is so funny. This little, like, skip to the side. <laughs> and when she returned from trying to fight the darkness, the Northmen had taken Dillian. Okay, this is not a balancing act. Mm, I love how the thoughts are kind of filling in gaps in the story, too. Okay, so he's there, pointing towards that. This is still down. Let's go this way. Hmm. Over here, up here. This is where one of them were. Right, up further, further. Yeah, he's up here. Except, no, he disappeared. Oh, he is here! <gasps> no, I know he's gone. He's gone. He was here. Okay, so what is this show? Half of them are gone now? Yeah. 
No. Some of them are on. Half of them have gone. Yeah. But where? Hmm. He's not helping. It's true. Quiet. He probably wants. Wilkes. In the cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the dark Mary. Wow. Hmm. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. Oh, that. I can kick that now. She resolved to fight on. And kill that which had become a part of her. But was this really a curse set upon her? Or is this actually just... I don't think it's a genuine curse like the darkness. I think this is her battling her own mind. It was never a curse. It was always just her own battle with herself. Can this do something now? Does this show? There. Okay, now this is activated. We can go to this other side. Hmm. I can kick that. But I don't think we want to go there yet. Can I open this? Probably not. Open it. Not from this side. Dang it. I might have to kick that over. I have to kick that over. Yeah, let's kick this over first. You know, I actually think the fighting in this is really well timed. You're not, because of how intense the fighting feels, despite it not being necessarily like difficult, it's just like clenching. Like, I feel like it's clenching kind of fighting. But I feel like it's well placed. Like, they're not like overwhelming you with hordes like they could. They could totally do more. Okay, so let's go this way. Now go back through. The textures are incredible. I hear somebody running. It sounds like people are running. Okay, so there's two paths. Oh, there's another story. More to the story. I wonder if I missed any. I hope I haven't. I wish there were a way for you to like check how many that you've like if you've missed any in an area. Hmm. Truth. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung the Northmen. Say oh, so oh, sorry. Oh. In order to receive. Sorry. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself with a spear and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink. And at last, he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Hmm. And he fell from the tree. I mean, Odin's always trying to escape the destruction and death itself, right? It's one of the things that consumes him, right? Like, he'll do anything to make sure that he stays alive and stays in power. It's hard enough to have that level of power. Shoot. How? But it's another thing to... Okay, so I think what we have to do is... You know what? I gotcha. I gotcha. It's another to keep you, like, keep yourself in power. Okay, so I think we need to open this side up, and then it will close it. So we need the other reality. Yeah, so we need the trick. Right. Push this open now. And now we need to move across and see it again for the bridge to go back through. The puzzles are pretty straightforward, too. It's kind of cool to have these... I think this is probably... I wouldn't say the first game. I mean, a lot of... Most games have some elements of puzzles, right? Even, like, God of War and things. But, uh... Well, actually, yeah, especially God of War. But I've always liked the way that puzzles are done when you're playing games like this instead of, like, metros. Or just side-scrollers. Like, side-scrollers, you're able to see it a little bit differently. This, you have to... Taken the whole picture. Okay, 
Okay, it should have spawned. Let me see. Yes, it's back. Oh, the fire. And then I think this is going to take us back to the other side where the real one is. There. Almost all of them are gone. Except for the... There's three. Where have we gone? Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. Mm. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, thought, grew in strength yeah. until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claw. There's three left. Three pieces. That way. That side. That's where we need to go. The darkness. Something's happening? Uh, okay. So we need to be up there, I think, in order to align the correct ones. Or we just need to be right there. Here. Mmm. There it is. But we need to be further up and then over. There it is. Nice. The gate is open. Open. The way is shut. It was made by those who are victory when it comes to the dark. Snap. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Hmm. I'll know at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest. Will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes? I'm also... Okay, so I think with the darkness and the rot, I'm assuming that the rot, because every time you can possibly have the rot grow, it's when you're fighting, and I think we're not fighting real... We're fighting herself. So the rot is... In our head, it's there, but the reality is, is it's just a representation of her giving into the darkness. Because every time she loses a battle, it's like, okay, yeah, so yeah, especially with hearing hearing the narrator, well, one of our voices, right, say that um, it's trying to strike her at her weakest. Every single time we encounter a fight sequence, it's us battling for our, like, our sanity and battling for ourselves and trying not to give in to our darkest form or the, the sickness, I suppose. Yeah, that's the relationship between it. He's here. Okay, he's here, but before we do this, I'm just gonna run to the bathroom. I'm so sorry. I'm hydrating like crazy these days. I'll be back. He's gone just like that, even with a flash of lightning. Hmm. Try to focus on it. I feel like he's still here, like he's watching us. Maybe not. Hmm. I feel like the game's struggle bossing here for a second. Overcome Valraven's final illusion. Final this illusion. Is keeping. I know you can do it, Senua. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. So I need to fight him. How can I fight something that's not even here? We need to make him appear. Okay. We can do this. Follow the fire. But what's up over there? No, there's nothing there. And we can't go this way. We need to look. We need to get through one of the illusions. Oh, we need to open the final door. Right. Okay. Oh, hold on. 
This should be it, this should be it. Ah, my straw is getting stuck. Whoa. Is my game okay there for a second? <laughs> I was just talking, I don't know what, this game has always played, oh. The tree, the tree branch, right? Yeah, the tree branch. This game and I have had beef the entire time. It's like every single time I try to play it on high settings. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. Hmm. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Oh. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death. Oh my his gosh. Was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. Mm. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen. They enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Finden made his escape. What was Finden burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. Himself? And Druth. Finden? Druth. The man that I am now. Right. And though Finden never That's set right. eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. Wow. He is. You could have seen my home before these dark times. Yeah. He has been through the ringer. Oh. Okay. We're gonna have to balance. We're gonna have to balance. Or maybe not. Oh, okay. I was really thinking that was going to be one of those, like, focus on the balance beam part. Okay, so we need to break this down. Ow. Push this down. Hmm. Okay, so we can now cross this, but what does that mean for us? Oh, we need to go back. I bet we need to go back and... Um, hold on, let me go back through the solution. This just brought us a balance beam, but did it do some- Oh, now we have a- Now we have that there, which will help us climb up, possibly? Let me see. Oh, is there a branch there that's not normally there? Just a large- I can't climb up this or anything. Is there a ladder? No. But the beam is here. Okay, right. Oh gosh, okay. Do we have to balance? No. Druth's story. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Focus up, focus up, focus up, focus up. You got this, Senua, you got this. Move forward, true. True, true. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Balance up, balance up. You're almost there, you're almost to the nest. Come on. <sighs> oh, I don't like it. There it is. The seal. The gate is open. Behind her. It's coming back for me. We have to fight him, too. I'm still here. Are you, too? Mm. Where are we? Look at the pores. Her pores. I remember. It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out 
no way. Time you helplessly back into the maelstrom. What is Drowning it doing? In mind and fear. Deeper. Deeper. Is it feasting Drowning on her? You down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness. Druid. Senuous. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach Truth. out to me. Senua. Take the my mirror. iron mirror. He Look gave that it, to her. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too. Yeah, look, it's trapped. it's picking at her. Focus. 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 My secret. I see you now. You led me to the wilds. You trapped me there. Holy. Here we go. All right, let me try to slow the fight down. Okay. Woo! Oh, snap. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, nice. Deflect it back. Get on him. Slow him down. So we need to dodge that. He's going to sprint at us. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, I need to deflect that. He's spinning, he's spinning. Nice. Okay. Oh! <sighs> Come on, Senua. Come on, Senua. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, normal guys. Normal guys. Come on. Make sure there's just one. You want it! They're overwhelming. Ah! Why am I not blocking? Let me kill them. I need to get my health back so I don't die. Fight this guy too. Push him, push him, push him. Break it, break it, break his posture. Shit. Okay, here we go. No, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. He's disappeared. He's spinning, he's spinning, he's spinning. Get back in there, get in there, get in there. Stab him around. Oh, you son of a... Where is he? Oh. He's gonna throw something. He's doing... Ah! Get up, get up, Senua. Get in there. Get in there. Slash in there, get in there. Start and run. Ah! Woo! Woo! You guys know it's real. You know it's real when you're dodging in real life. Come on. Slash him around, come on. Senua, come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Slash him around. Come on, Senua. Right. Where is he? Okay. We got this. Yeah, you? Come on. Come on. Okay, my RB might not be working. I'm not kidding. My RB is like... I may need to switch my controller to PlayStation. Okay. Slash him up. Nice. Push past. Push past. Get it. You can do this. Whoa. There's three. There's Find three. 
Three on two. Ugh. Here we go. Is there one behind me too and I can't see him? Back up, back up, back up. Look around. Okay, two on one. Two on one. There we go. I just have to press harder on the RB. It's a little bit like I've had this for a while, so it's a little bit more, uh... We gotta push it a little harder. Come on. You. Come on. Damn it, damn it, get up. Get up, get up. I have to get the focus on him. Get towards him, get towards him, get towards him, get towards him. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. Focus up, focus up. Slash. Hack and slash, hack and slash. There, 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 there. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Come on. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Throw. Woo! Shoot. Spin, spin, spin. Come on, throw that blade, throw that blade. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, get in there, get in there. Here we go. There we go, get in it, get in it, get in it, get in it, get in it. Here we go. Get in there, get in there. There! I'll never beat you in the last <gasps> Oh, oh. <gasps> But not this time! Let's go! Get it! Let's go, Senua! <sighs> Such a scary fight. <laughs> the mark of Valraven, one of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. We did it. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory brings her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? She's in those dark winter nights in the wilds. There were times when she considered. Letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. Okay. Wait. So... Or maybe when he told her about <laughs> that was such a good fight. Oh my gosh. Or maybe like part of it is the Northmen, like they're not the ones that burned down her people's home. Maybe it's because he taught her about the faith and that she can journey to Helheim in order to save Dillian. Like he was the one who made her know about everything here. <gasps> Look at the sun. We did it. Both of the doors done. So now we can cross into. But we still have to go through hell. And we have to walk all the way back. Or wait. Do we? I think so. I think you still have to drink. She would lay in the grass. Illusion. Shifting faces. The eyes, the eyes are still here. After a while, she could see the face of everything. The trees. The mountains. The caves. <sighs> this. Light reflection in water. Hmm. More eyes. I 
reckon plants might be some of the hardest, harder things to do. To get them to really move like actual plants on the ground. It looks so different now. I wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. Mm. If you look for them. It's starting to storm again. It's like there's a little bit of reprieve every time we defeat it, just a little more. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld. The underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother. Galena. Galena. Her mother also had a priestess. A healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. But it welcomed in it the was darkness. A time before the darkness. Oh. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. And what happened? Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over her. I'm sure. That right there. Okay, we've got some sunlight again. Oh, that's right, we're still trying to venture through all of his tricks. So his mother, or her mother had something similar to what she has, and then the darkness also came for her mom. As it did for her. I'm assuming that's what consumed her mom as well. So they both had some kind of special gift. More of the trickster. I forgot just how far we ventured with this. Didn't even feel like it was. We did. Yeah, we read that one. So I wonder if there's one sitting outside of the. Is that just a white blob? Oh, yeah. I wonder if there's one sitting on the right side. Because I don't think that one was on the left side until we came out. So when we come out here. With the mark of Valraven, on the, the side. You may cross the bridge over the oh, river of knives it. to Helheim. We did it. We might have to fight again. Why is she do it. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Strike me down. Oh. When she returned from the wilds, Dillian's death. This is insane. Truth? Anyone? There is no one here but me. Not you. Did but you I think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds. I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Did they do this? In this waking nightmare, where all dreams come true, you searched for control, a way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears to smother your furies. 
and banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. But she would have died too. She would have been dead alongside him. Now, if she hadn't... But your home... He's so far away. They've taken his soul. To these gods you cannot pray. That's why she sees the burned bodies everywhere and the death. You, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. Oh. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. No! But it's not her fault. She couldn't have helped that. She would have been dead alongside him. This is... They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. Through this darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats. His voice sounds like um, the messenger from Sauron. <laughs> I can't unhear this. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. Mm. And you wanted to surrender. Abandon and divide peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. <laughs> chills! Chills! <laughs> Every single cutscene, just goosebumps up and down. Her look, I actually, I, I we need to talk about this. Did her, um, I'm assuming her VA and mocap, whoever mocapped her, did they, they better have gotten awards for this. Like this performance, oh, shivers down my spine. Oh, snap. Come on, let's go. Push past. I love that. I love them being like, they can't. They can't make you break your promise. Okay, hold on. This might be a little anticlimactic if I die here, so I need to come on. Hold on, roll back, roll back. There we go. Go. Oh. Hold on. Get my beats back. Get my beats back. Get my beats back. Block him when he strikes. Come on. Strike me. There it is. Come back from it. I can't see because this flinging body. When there is a new girl ahead, the only one that makes any sense. Let them come to me. Kind of get my health back. Bring it back into focus. Bide their time. 
Get that parry. Let him for a strike. Back up. The other one's moving forward. I want them to kind of separate a little bit more. There we go. Mine. That guy. Shield boy. Oh, what the heck? Mayo? Wake up. Hold on. I need to get my bearings. Oh! There we go. Back up. Ooh! Little break of the... Can I kick him off? Break that. Break him. Can I push him off the edge? Please tell me I can push him off the edge. <laughs> what a badass. <sighs> Not all the lights are lit. Some of them aren't actually, yeah. I hope this isn't freezing like it feels. I, I hope it looks smooth for you guys. It's like my biggest concern. Hmm. What's in it? Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. <gasps> Get up. Senua. Senua, get up. I'm pressing everything. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Slash, slash, slash. Mm. It's nearly over. Finish it. Make him charge us again. Oh no! <gasps> Hold on, back up. Make him charge. Make him charge. Make him charge. <sighs> Come on, get it back. Get it back. <sighs> oh gosh. I'm trying to focus, I am. Shoot. Ugh. Come on, Senua. Cut them up. Ugh. Okay. Come on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get up, 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 get up. Strike him down, strike him down. Okay, hold on, hold on. There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> Back up, back up. Get over here. Fight him, fight him, fight him both. Slash them both. Ah! Come on. I cannot imagine this on hard, and I don't know if I, this is like a game that I'd ever want to do on hard. Ah! No, 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 get up, get up, send you a get up, 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 get up. Get up, get up, get up. Push past, push past, push past. Here we go. Another shield boy. We just gotta bite our time. Heal back up, heal back up. There we go. Beautiful. Parry. Break him down, break him down, break him down, break him down. Yes. The 
lightning the music. <sighs> this is so awesome. Kick it. Finish this. End it now. <sighs> okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't remember half of this. Like, I cannot believe that I let any of this slip from my memory. What is that? What once was? A path? Okay, so now we need to move forward. Is there a door? What am I looking for? I hear stuff. Creaking. Oh, there's a door right in front of us. <gasps> it blended in. Look, there's a lot of wood. There's a lot of wood. It blended in. Oh. Let me see if there's any more stories. Yes. More stories. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. A giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. And she will ask your business. State your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd. Mm. That is challenged by the giantess. He's such a good storyteller. Okay, let's zoom on this and then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pause real quick. I wanna make sure, cause for me it's kind of, it's a little, I, I hate that it's, I'm even saying it's a little, it's lagging a little bit, but I'm getting that sense. I wonder, did I just get a save point or? The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each <laughs> must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets and you will find yours. To align again. Yeah, I don't think the saving... I, th I think you have to wait for the autosave, and I don't want to have to do this fight again, so I'm going to wait for us to go past this. But I'm a little I'm a little concerned about how it's appearing to you guys. Okay, we're looking for symbols. Oh, you know what? I bet you there's a symbol over here. I bet there actually is a symbol over at this side. Maybe. No, maybe not. It looks like there is, like an X. Oh, we would know. Oh, I can go down here. I didn't even realize there were stairs down here. Wow. Uh, the bridge did not look like this on the other side. This, oh, if we can crisscross it with another, we can make an X. But it's not telling us it's here. Hmm, no. It's not even popping up with something similar. We're not being told that there's any... Oh! But that's why you have to come over here. The, the stairs. <gasps> and then all the other symbols are over there. So we need to look for areas that we'll need to focus on. So we can move forward. It's lightning. They might be all from, oh, there's an X. The X, this, that, there. Wait, is it that? No, there's no way. I'm gonna have to get a different angle. It might be up higher. There's part of one, yeah, we need like another piece to it. Okay, and then there's an S bias as well, an S, that. That's something different. That's not an S either. So much happening. An S here. Something on the ground, maybe? Oh, that looks like an No, it's not an X. It's like, that looks like an X. The S is in this whole area. It's almost like guiding me down as well. There, there it is, there it is. Nice. Okay, one down. So now we need an X and then another kind of symbol. 
little shoo 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 shoo. Maybe a cross snow. Oh, we can actually go down there. Oh, I bet you the X is from this side. Oh no. There. Perfect. I wonder if we have to make all of these up just- Oh! Maybe if I'm looking up from there, I can see the X. But, real quick, let's go down this other ladder. It's my- the thing keeps trying to push me to other places. Yes, another story. It's here. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. Mm. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. And grim. I think it's if we look up here. Right there. Perfect. All using the red beams. And again, like that red is our guiding color, so we have to remember. And now we can get through. That was scary. That's this whole sequence, the fight and everything. I didn't like it. I don't like it. You got it. We should get an auto save here. We did. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. I just wanna make sure this area, I think with the lightning, it's just, it's, I don't know. I'll be right back. I'm gonna test. I just wanna make sure it's all clear for you guys. Okay, so I think it's fine. I, I keep being like super, I'm just like double checking everything. I just wanna make sure the quality is nice for you guys. All right, so we passed through. Let's get a move on. More death on this side. But see, I can't figure out if this is spawning because of her memory from when her village was ravaged. Let's move forward. So much death. The gate. It's opening. A voice? It's coming. That song again. Hella. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's Hella. Yes. The source of the darkness. It's coming. Oh my this gosh. This is your moment. I'm sorry. Half. I can't watch this. I mean, you can't watch this. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. She's freezing. She's Pick freezing. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Samuel. Get up and fight. Oh my. That is horrific. She has runes all in her body. Oh my. Oh my Storm gosh. Storming seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only mm. see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept. Yours 
might be too. Oh, oh, snap. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates us. Talking to her. Full Schmeagol. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Is there anything else in the mirror? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Truth. No. Broken and lost. <laughs> Just Do like it. your sword. Come on. <laughs> Did she just burn herself? Did she cauterize it? Or was that actually... Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Look how broken and lifeless Why she looks. On? The rot. Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. A song. That's real. That part's real. Dillian. Look at the coloration too, like how her ear is so much red, like more red than the rest. How do you know it's him or what's the darkness trying to use him against her? Come to me. Please. So where are we now? We still didn't so we didn't successfully cross the bridge. The light. Go towards the light. It's him. But we're on the other side of the shore. It's just a trick. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. It's real. Go towards it. We need to move. Is it? Was there anything else there? The darkness, or the, the rot has spread so much, and I couldn't even help that. That wasn't me. That's flag on the field. That's not my, that's not my rot. That's hashtag not my rot. That's not me. Okay, where is he? We've got a couple different paths too. I wonder if there's something on the beaches. We need to look for more lower stories. No. I don't think so. But yeah, so wait, that's where we were. Hold on. No. Yeah, we have crossed at least a decent amount. We've crossed a little bit. They have this beach all over here, but they don't have any lore. At least not here. Dang. Is it on the other side of here? Well, we can't go out into the water, can you? Can you go up and around? No. Barrier. Mm. So yeah, I think that was her maybe burning herself to wake back up from to know what was reality and what is, like, false. That's the best way that I could... Interpret that, I think. You got it, Sanyua. There it is. Seaweed. No, go. Ignore Ginger. It does look like a raven, actually, now that I. Right? Like a bird of some sort. Wait, those shields. Were those shields always there? Maybe I was focused on the bird that I didn't notice the shields. 
All of the ships crashed ashore. Blood on them. Blood on them. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own. The storm's collecting coming. firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. The ship. Barren. Mm. And lonely. Hmm. Look at the beach. Oh, the striations. It's just... So her father, overprotective, maybe due to the gifts that her mother had had? Maybe after seeing... Maybe he became more protective of Senua when her mother had passed? I don't think there's any lore here. Unless there's something down there. What am I doing? Why am I moving my head? Okay, that's where the light is, but what's up? Wait a minute. This is promising. Why else would they have this? Her mother's face. She sees her mother's face. Sarah, ah, there we go. There will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. Like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. And it does not ask you to swim against it. Hmm. I'm glad we went down there. So now we need to look for her mother's faces as well. Not just for the little runes. Drew's stories. She does say that she sees her mom's faces, <sighs> face in multiple different places. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. <sighs> you think you can see it. That tree again, we saw that in the distance before. Yes, this tree. There I faintly remember that. The lone figure of a boy. Sword play under the shade of a tree. Oh my gosh, it is. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced <gasps> with him. He was the gloom of happiness to her. And for the first time in years, she felt. A ray of hope. Mmm. He was her hope. This reminds me of those um, rocks in Iceland. Where is he? There. He's there. Under the tree. You can see him. The implementation of songs with, um, oh, with vocals. It's really well placed, like well timed. Wait, there's a door up there, though. Druth. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. He's not One there day, anymore. An old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. Odin. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. <gasps> Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Wow. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Grom. A child. A son will make a weapon out of the fragments. So who was his son? Somebody meant to challenge possibly Odin? Who challenges Odin? I 
want to see if I can go that way first. I think I can, actually. I think I can go around. There's a, um... Wait. There's a ladder to inside of there, but what's... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's no point to it. I thought I saw something glinting in there. I guess not. Just a drain. Our sewer system. I think I can. If I go through that way, I think I should be able to make it. Let's get it. Actually, let's use the height. Use the high ground. I'm not going to be able to go this way anyway. It's blocked by something that we don't know about. Oh, we can't get up there even if we want. Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. More lore. I wonder if all of these runes spell something, too. I was thinking about that, because each one of them are... Hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day... A great Odin tree? comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. And also... His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it. But Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. Mm. But when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. All over a sword? I mean, I guess it was a sword given by the gods, but still. Or maybe because he didn't have the strength to take it out himself. A little bit of like a... A little bit of a King Arthur. Or what is that? Yeah. No. Hold on. Who takes the sword from the stone? Is that King Arthur? Oh, no. I can't focus on this. Why can't I do anything with it? Look at all the people hanging from the tree. We might have to make a sacrifice, too. I can't even focus on it. Go to the edge here. Get a glimpse. I wonder what that is out there. Okay, there's nothing here. But uh, there's lore, there's a lore piece right there before we head over. Okay. Yeah, another part to Sigmund's story. Interesting. So his brother. I know, Ginger. I'm sorry. I'm... Ginger keeps... Uh, my cat's in this phase where she wants to come in, then she wants to go out. She wants to come in. She sees I'm not going to give her treats, so she instantly begs to go out. In and out and in and out. We'll keep going down over here. We'll have to come back up. Yeah, so... But is the sword that Sigmund tried to fight Odin's spear with, is it the one that also shattered, or was he not able to spare himself from Odin because he no longer possessed the sword? Because his brother-in-law had stolen it. I just see her little shadow, that's what... Here we go. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy. Right! And implores the king Talk to cheer them up instead. Messy family. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. What? Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours <gasps> one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night. Oh, until look at all the Sigmund's bodies hanging there. from it. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. Oh, so you shouldn't walk away from the lore piece. Because I think it started to go quiet there. What happened? She smears honey on his face. Wouldn't that... I don't know. Do wolves not like honey? Is this... I, uh, bears? We know bears like honey. So all of Sigmund's brothers died. At the hand of his brother-in-law. Again, talk about sick and twisted family matters. Anytime you think your family's complicated, just remember... Just remember this. 
We need to find the next piece to it. Tell me more! Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. Mm. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. Is there something this way? There's our next piece. She was starting to form her own dance. As the she wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. Oh. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. What? After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. Sorry, what? Yeah. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. Sigmund slaughters his nephews? So his sister hatches a new plan. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. You can't leave us on that. Oh my goodness. Y'all always talk about me leaving you guys on cliffhangers with some of these episodes. Just look, none of it comes close to Druth's stories. No, it's a trick. It's an illusion. It's not real. You want to believe That's what's on the door. Oh. Where is she going? Oh, look at her happiness. It's just deception. Oh. How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? Court the world in bliss. If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. <laughs> just like he does. Dancing through life. Is he up there dancing? I don't see him. Look at the pink flowers, the vibrant colors. The music. Oh, I can't move. I feel like this is how and what the world looked like to every time she saw him. What's your name? She could see it through his eyes. Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. <laughs> Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well... I, I watched you, and... You learned all of that from watching me? Oh, dancing with a blade. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Why is this getting me? And bring your sword. <laughs> you can't put it into words. That moment. When you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. No. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senwa knows that there's no going back to how things no, were. the Norton. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! Say no. Dillion. It's 
that you? Oh, man. I'll find you, my love. I promise. Oh, those are such powerful scenes. Those are just... I, I don't know how to quite express it, like, that it can invoke such, like, a quick emotional response for me. I think it's how... It's just some of the best, I think, facial expressions lining up with some of the best writing. And there's this love story about how she meets him and it gives insight to, like, what he represented to her. But yeah, so this is not her faith, this isn't her religion, this is the Northmans. And that's, like, that's where it's coming from is because they have taken his soul and that's why she's having to venture to a whole nother like this is not hers this is something she's trying to fight and work into to save him oh did i just change something combat okay nothing lives here you won't survive. something's up there but wait there's still stories maybe it's a sign the tree what's he trying to tell you maybe i can't do these right now okay I have to, I think I have to focus on the, the tree. Let me just go down around this. Oh, I can't even go up there if I wanted to. It's blocked. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead. That's something else too, actually. Those are gonna come into play. There, the next part of Sigmund's story. Hmm. Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. Oh, what? She gives birth to a son <laughs> named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured. And Sigir has them buried alive. Oh my gosh. What happens? So wait, in a plot to get ultimate revenge against your husband, who's wronged your brother, you disguise yourself to sleep with your... Wait, sir, first of all, you send your sons to Sigmund, who he deems unworthy. Then instead, you're like, oh, well, he'll only see his own blood as worthy. So then you trick him into sleeping with you. Produce a son, wait m m many more years until the son is worthy. And now you guys all end up buried alive. I think we're missing some context. <laughs> I think we're gonna need to find out more. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, okay, the, the mother Sigmund's hasn't. sister throws an armful of straw into the oh. grave. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. Dang. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. <gasps> she does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says. Oh my gosh. Into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. You know, not for me to question the whole situation or the scenario, but would it not have been easier for the sister to just set fire to the hall herself? Without having to go through the process of losing multiple children, giving birth to another child. It's okay. The, the cool thing is the, the sword being disguised in the straw. That's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. But that's so... That's got to be so difficult. I want to see if there's any other stories. Wow. Well, I mean, that is the end of Sigmund's story, I suppose. But what happened to him after his sister threw herself back into the fire? The skulls. The sword in the tree. 
Odin's sword. Dillian left him. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Find it. It's the metal roots. All of the different shards. It's in front of you. Oh my goodness. Oh. The metal, the okay. Rooms. You need that sword. Go to the shard. Find the shards. I need to know. I almost was leaving you guys on a cliffhanger, but I need to know. I need to know. Focus. 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 Get closer and focus. There. Get closer. Can you see? Go to it. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. Hmm. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. Tyrving? I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Now we're in something new. It feels wrong. Where are we now? Oh. Burial mound. Wow. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Then comes the reckoning. Okay, I think if each shard is going to throw us into a scenario like this, albeit maybe not that long, I think this is actually a good place to cut off this video. I decided I'm going to do four videos, so um, I know I had told you guys last time that it might end up being like three, but I think this is a really good place to stop before we get so, again, the game, it's just every single part, it's really hard to figure out where you want to like cut this up because there's so many like incredible scenes that like thrust you further into the story and I it just it, it adds up and it makes you want to know more and more and more but I think that this will be a good stopping point for this I'm really trying to get back to doing like no more than hour and a half two hour videos Final Fantasy like absolutely knocked that out of the park and so I'm trying to kind of keep myself in check so I'm sorry that you guys are paying for it but yeah we're gonna end here and I will come back for the next episode. I And it's really hard to gauge like where you're at in the game as well. I know this one isn't too, too long. Um, and I am definitely taking my time. I'm trying to find things. I thought it was really cool at the end of the tree there. We can just listen to something. No, the whispers will distract me. Um, at the end there, he kind of... It's kind of cool because he gives you context to Sidman and the sword in case maybe you miss some of the lore stones. Because I'm imagining sometimes if you go around, you might not find them all unless you're looking for them. They don't hide them too far off the beaten path, but you do kind of have to comb through everywhere. I'm sure I've missed them. I actually, I wish you could see how many you found, actually, now that I think about that too. I, I did mention that earlier, but today was a big episode. We not only took out the horrifying trickster raven creature, um, 
So we took out them. We crossed the bridge. We got here, but we faced Hella, or at least at what we thought was her. We had a lot of tough battles in this too. I still, I respect the combat actually so much. I do think like, I remember initially I would have, I went in remembering that the combat didn't feel as it does now. I don't know if, if my soul's days have me hardened and I've just been getting like, you know, I've been playing too many cozy games that don't have intense combat, but this, this combat, it's got you on the edge of your seat. I keep referring to that, but I think it's so well done. And yeah, we'll, we'll touch all of these shards. We'll go into whatever realms it sends us like that's going to happen. And I think there are about four or five if, when we looked around, so it's not going to be something that takes like 10 minutes, you know? So I want to make sure I'm taking my time and not rushing through any of this as well. So that's why we're going to kind of chop these off and to be in four segments instead. So with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.